Hi everyone, I'm Monique and I'm excited to be back with a new layout guest designing for Ella Banella. Once again, I'm going to be using their lovely Lucky Me main kit. This is my second layout using this fun kit. I also have a process video for the first layout, which you can find a couple videos back. It's called You Make My Heart Smile. Now I'm starting off this layout with this really pretty rainbow um, patterned paper. It's um, the leftovers from my previous layout and I've just been desperate to create a layout with it. I just love those colors. So I've just torn a rough edge and I don't want to use it all. I want to save some for another layout. So I'm go am going to trim it down, but I want to add some of this beautiful blue. It's such a gorgeous pattern and I just love that shade of blue. So here I am just trimming that, that rainbow down so that I've got a, a piece for something else and I'm going to be layering that blue and rainbow together. But first I want to distress those straight edges um, just to give some lovely texture to kind of mirror that torn edge as well. So I just want to add a little bit of extra dimension. So um, I'm distressing them once, but then I do go back and distress again just to give some extra ruffled up texture to both those pieces. I feel like I need to add something to the left side of those layered pattern papers. So I'm using this gorgeous white pattern paper, which has a faint grid in the background and those beautiful little hearts, which adds some lovely subtle interest. Now I've pushed that rainbow paper slightly over to the left and I've drawn a soft pencil line um, just to kind of mark where that pattern paper is going to be. I am going to push it slightly over to the right. So the pattern paper will cover that line. Um, so, but it gives me an idea where I need to do my mixed media. So I've got a variety of Distress Oxide and Distress Ink Pads, which I'm just going to be using to do the packaging technique. So I stamp the ink pad onto this um, wax wrap paper, um, spritz some water onto it, and then take some old um, kind of cellophane packaging, which I dip into it, and then I kind of dab it onto the the white cardstock. The cardstock I'm using is a Vicky Booten mixed media cardstock. However, this method of mixed media isn't very um, wet. So you a, a thick cardstock or just a regular cardstock with some clear gesso on would be absolutely perfect for this as well. So I'm just working through the colors. The Distress Oxide inks are a lot more um, opaque and they give a more saturated color where the Distress inks, um, they are slightly more diluted when I use this technique. So I do go back over those areas where I've used the Distress inks just to add um, a little bit more depth to the color um, so that it's a bit more saturation. And there I'm happy with my rainbow and I'm going to start sticking down those pattern papers. So I'm just sticking each one down in turn and then layering them on top of each other once my mixed media is dry. If you are liking the look of this kit, I've linked it up for you below. Do pop along to the Ella Vanilla store. They're a UK based store and you can place your order and then you can scrap along with me. I've still got two more layouts to come using this lovely fun kit. I want to add some heart embellishments to this. I'm just making two little templates. So I've folded some plain cardstock in half and um, just drawn half a heart and then cut out through the two layers. And then when I open it up, I've got these two lovely hearts. Now I want to have layered hearts. So for each of those hearts, I'm going to make two slightly smaller ones. So I'm cutting out the leftover piece there and using it almost as a stencil. And it's just to help me get the right shape, but I've not stenciled it exactly. I've drawn that half a heart slightly smaller so that when I layer it on top of the bigger heart and um, they kind of nest into each other nicely so you can see a bit of the larger heart and then a little bit of and obviously the smaller heart on top and I'm doing the same for for that smaller heart too now these are my templates and I'm going to be using them um, the smaller hearts um, of each of those templates um, on my that same white patterned paper that's got those little colorful hearts and a little grid pattern and I'm going to cut them all out and those are going to be the centers of of all my heart embellishments and I'm going to be layering them, those up um, from top to bottom down the center of my layout. So here you can just see um, a quick glimpse of how it's going to look. So you've got plain white textured cardstock in the background of a slightly larger heart and then the little pattern paper hearts in the center which are slightly smaller. Now I want to just add a little bit of definition to the edges of those hearts. So I'm using the same ink that I used to do the mixed media and I'm just dabbing around the edges just to define those 
those edges a little bit and I'm really happy with, with how that looks and it just it shows that there's two hearts stacked together rather than it looking like there's just one white heart there. I find it easier to ink the edges by folding the heart in half with the right sides facing out. Um, this allows me to get right into that like, center little corner in the middle of that heart and um, have a good inking around all those edges. Now I've got one more heart to do after this but because the heart is layered over two colors I do half of it in yellow and then half of it in like a peachy orange color so I'll do the top half yellow just to kind of mirror the, the background paper that's there and then I get like a corally pinky shade of ink which I do for the bottom half but it's still a little bit too pink so then I go back over it using the yellow ink just to kind of make it a bit more peachy orange. Now it's time to stick those hearts together so I'm just putting a little dot of um, my tape runner in the center and layering them together and the reason I'm not going too crazy with the adhesive because I want to do some stitching down the center so this little bit of adhesive is just going to hold the hearts in place um, while I stitch so that I don't have to worry about them falling apart so I've got my pokey tool and I'm just going down that fold in the middle and poking the holes a uh, two to three millimeters apart um, so that I've got nice holes for for doing my stitching now I'm going to be doing back stitch and I've got my embroidery thread and I've also got some sequins because I want to add some sequins to the stitching too. I'm using all six strands of my embroidery thread so it's going to be a nice chunky stitch and I'm starting by coming in through the back and I'm going into the second hole and I'm threading a teeny tiny sequin on and then I'm going to be stitching backwards into the very first hole that's at the bottom of that heart. Then I come in through the back, I come in one stitch ahead, so you can see there's a little gap there, and then I'm going to stitch backwards one. So I'm only going to be putting on a sequin in every second stitch. So you can see I put a sequin on the first stitch, nothing on the second stitch, then I'm going to put a sequin onto the third stitch, then nothing on the fourth, and so on, until I've stitched all the way up the center. So this happy kit is made up with some lovely pattern papers, stickers and alphas, all from the Lucky Me collection, which is made by Rosie Studio. If you're on Instagram and you'd like to see more of my creations, please do pop along. You can find me at Handmade Happy by Monique. Now that that one's done, I continue on and stitch up the center of all the other little hearts as well. And I'm quite happy with how they've turned out. I love that extra little detail in the center. And now I'm going to add a few extra hearts. So I'm taking some of the other patterned papers in the kit and I'm just using two different sized paper punches, a teeny tiny little heart and then um, a slightly bigger heart as well. And I'm also folding them in the center just to echo the other embellishments that I've made. And I'm going to continue that vertical line of heart embellishments going from the top to the bottom. As you can see, I'm using various different papers from the kit. There are eight pattern papers in total and I'm using most of them and I'm just choosing colors that tie in with that lovely rainbow so that I can do some tone on tone embellishing. I want to add a layer behind those photos just for some really subtle definition and I've got this lovely heart tissue paper which I got um, with a parcel and um, it's just a lovely subtle echo of the heart embellishments and that heart pattern paper as well. So I've just stuck them on and I'm just trimming so that there's a thin little border all the way around and I love the subtle effect of tissue paper behind a photo. Now to add a little bit more texture using some machine stitching. So I've just used some white thread and stitched around each of those photos and up those two layers of distressed pattern papers. I've done one straight line and then one wibbly line on each of those pattern papers. I don't want it to look too perfect and I love the kind of effect of like a doodled stitched edge. So now I'm just mounting these photos on some craft foam. Um, the top photo, I'm just using a single layer of craft foam, but the bottom photo, I'm layering two lots of craft foam. But only, you can see that top corner's only got one layer and that's because it's going to rest on the photo that's at the top. So I'm just going and sticking those down so that I can get started with um, gluing down all the embellishments. So I'm just placing them back where I would like them to be and then I'm going to come in with my silicon glue and just add a little bit of glue to the center of each of those hearts. Silicon glue reminds me almost of like a gel consistency so when it dries um, it goes hard in 
in that shape it doesn't flatten out so it really helps give some nice dimension and it's really easy to tilt and manipulate to how you want your embellishments to lie when you use silicon glue so I've just decided I want to add a little bit more definition to the edges of those punched out hearts so I'm going back in with my inks and just um, dabbing the edges with some ink just to kind of echo the, the larger white hearts as well. And there you can see the dimension of those layered hearts and those little ones um, that are folded. Now I'm going through my lovely embellishments from this kit. It comes with um, a sheet of epoxy stickers and two sheets of chipboard stickers. And they've got some lovely um, little sentiments and they've got all the colors that tie in so beautifully with that rainbow pattern paper. So I've just dotted them, some on the left and then three on the right, um, just kind of staggered um, going down that vertical. Also in the kit are these lovely rainbow glitter alphas. So I've got my ruler there just to help me um, keep it nice and straight. And my title is Me and You and ice cream too. <laughs> I had to think about that for a second. So I've used the little epoxy sticker that says me and you, and then the glitter alphas to um, say and ice cream too. So the photos are of my kids with this giant ice cream, and it was just before my daughter's ice cream fell on the floor. <laughs> so um, this mommy lost her ice cream. <laughs> I passed it on to my daughter. Um, so yes, it's quite a funny memory looking at these photos. I will do a facing page, um, which kind of documents the, the fallen ice cream. Um, I have a photo of it splat on the floor, but I had to include these happy photos too. So you will have seen, I've just stuck down all those embellishments with a little bit of adhesive. And now that ampersand that I've used today wasn't from this um, Glitter Alpha um, sticker set. I've used my own stash for that, just so that I could have that um, ampersand so I've just added a little bit of um, glitter to it so that it ties in with the other the other alphas um, in the title. Now I've come in with my sequins and I've chosen sequins that match all those rainbow colors and I've put them going down from the top to the bottom however I feel it's too much and I'm not one to usually say it's too much but I just feel like there's too much going on um, when I look back on the video, it kind of looks okay, but in real life, it was just a little bit too much. So I've removed the green sequins and the orange sequins and just kept kind of alternating colors. So the blue at the top, the yellow in the center and the pink at the bottom. And I feel that that balances out quite nicely. So the sequins are mostly on the right hand side with just a few scattered over onto the left hand side. And there are some close ups where you can see all that detail, the shimmery sequins and the beautiful colors from this lovely kit. Please do pop along to the Ella Benella store if you'd like to scrap along with me with this kit. I've got two more layouts coming up and I've linked everything up for you below. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you've enjoyed this video, I'd be so grateful if you hit the like and the subscribe button and please feel free to leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time. Bye.